How far does it go on the, uh, you know, per whatever Miles liter per gallon? gallon? Yeah. Um, it's the same as with regular diesel. It's about 26 to 27 miles per gallon. And what's the difference between it and regular diesel? Um, well, it's much less polluting. Right. It's renewable. Um, the net carbon dioxide added to the atmosphere is balanced out by the life cycle of the plant. Uh, there's no sulfur. So all the fuel comes from the hemp plant? It's, it there's, comes from hemp seed oil. Right? Really? Yes. Wow, there's no uh, add, no addition to add any other kind of uh, fuel? No, uh, you take the hemp seed oil, you uh, dissolve some lye and some methanol, you add that to the oil, you mix it up, and you let it settle out. That uh, breaks the fats in the oil so that it's more viscous. Mm -hmm. Glycerin settles to the bottom, and the biodiesel is on top, and that's what you burn in your engine. Biodiesel? Yes. Cool. Well, if the system were in place and hemp were legal to grow in America, the hemp, not, not biodiesel, but hemp fuel, if you pyrolyze the hemp, could get as low as 30 cents a gallon. But right now, since we have to import the oil, and we're not using pyrolysis, we're using hemp seed oil, uh, it retails for 40 to $70 a gallon. We're paying $4 a gallon for it because it's oil that's gone bad, and it's not, not going to be good to be used for food. So. I wish I could and the, and the lack of sulfurs in their fuel means no, no, no sulfuric acid, no right. acid rain, right? Um, all the other emissions are about 80% less than regular diesel, except for nitrous oxide. Um, that's a little bit except higher. Except for nitrous oxide? Yeah. Wow. That's a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> you, get, you get old freaks following your car yeah. trying to <laughs> inhale the uh, tailpipe yeah. there. Uh, what is the uh, difference in performance? Get noticeably better or noticeably less performance like the acceleration. Um, the the biodiesel is a little bit better. Um, it's a much better fuel. It's better for the engine, and the performance is better too. But it's better than diesel. Yes. And uh, uh, didn't Rudolph Diesel originally build his engines around on, on vegetable oils? Yeah. Um, he did. At the 1900 World's Fair, he ran his engine on peanut oil. And you could run I, you could run straight hemp oil without converting it into biodiesel in this engine if you wanted. You would just have to heat the oil before you use it. You have to heat the oil? Yes. What is the life expectancy of the engines? That you what, you mean with the biodiesel? Right, is it? Uh, the engine will last longer with biodiesel. It, is it uh, so much cleaner? Or? Yeah, it, it kind of it de gunks the engine. Uh, mm -hmm. It's a great solvent. If you're going to use biodiesel, you have to replace all your rubber hoses with synthetic rubber because it is a good solvent. Soft. So, um, when you set this car up to switch it from regular diesel to biodiesel, is that the major thing you had to do? Is change the rubber uh, yeah. gaskets and hoses? And, and you know, is there anything else? To, uh, no, no really? that's it. That's it. Oh, also, we bought an extra fuel filter because, like I said, the biodiesel will degunk the tank. Uh -huh. And so, when you first switch over to biodiesel, you'll probably have to change the fuel filter a couple times. But it's really doing a good thing for your car. Yeah, really. And the planet. Yes. Well, thanks. Thanks for thanks. answering my um, questions. Do you make the process the fuel yourself then once you buy it, Rob? No, uh, Todd Swearingen, he has a company called Apple Energy based in Ohio, and he's processing all the oil in the fuel course. Oh, really? In yeah. Ohio? 
Yes. Okay. You guys are coming to Detroit, so right. we're looking forward to seeing you there. We're going to try to get a, a multitude for you. Do you know where you can stop in Detroit yet? Not really. Uh, I know the tricentennial celebration will be going on while we're yes. there. Oh, really? So, the 300th yeah. birthday. So that's a huge. We're hoping to have over a thousand volunteers in town just for that. Wow. So um, we'll be putting out. We'll go put out good press releases for you. Good. Good. I have um, about 162 stuff on my my uh, fast list Great. for just such an emergency. Um, Great. Now we'll, we'll try. Now you guys. Uh, I think we had. I understand you have an activist network that's going to be at the points where the fuel is going to be and have press conferences and all that. Yeah. Right, that's right. And a lot of people here are part of that network and the project wouldn't be a success without them. We've had so much help already. It takes a lot. Um, it's beautiful to see so many people work together for something. I hope it lives up to everyone's effort and really takes the message that it's fired up. It will. As long as it starts. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see it burn some rubber. That's right. It smells like something's baking. Something smells good though. Yeah. It's not bad enough. It's good. Perfect. That's nice. Too smooth. Better than the alternative.